So in today's matchup, we have Ralph versus Fenris Wolf. Fenris Wolf is the name of this wolf in Thor Ragnarok. I know I got in a lot of arguments with people in the past when I covered this as Fenris Wolf and people kept saying it was Fenrir Wolf. But in the movie, Hela literally refers to this wolf as Fenris Wolf. It is definitely called Fenris Wolf in this battle. But in this matchup, we have Ralph who comes into this battle standing between 15 and 20 feet tall. And I really do think that Fenris Wolf is also standing between 15 and 20 feet tall as well. But in this battle, I do think both of these wolves are both standing at right around 15 to 20 feet tall. This is a very good matchup idea. I saw this in one of the videos. This is what I would kind of meant to do for a while. In this matchup, we have two giant wolves. Two deadly giant wolves that have done a lot and are both very scary and deadly. Both of these monsters are, are wolves. They're both wolves, except in this battle... Ralph comes into this battle with a few enhancements, as you know. Ralph comes into this battle with the porcupine tail, able to throw those spines, and has the flying ability, while Fenris Wolf is just a normal wolf, except giant. And obviously has insane durability, but for the most part, the weapons on Fenris are just that she is very tough and big. As far as what Ralph was able to do in Rampage, Ralph was able to take out the gunmen in the forest very easily, just pick them apart like they're nothing was able to take out the helicopter, jump up very far, destroyed the blades when it hit Ralph, which shows how tough he really is. Takes out the blades, rips out the guy from the helicopter, destroys the helicopter, then kills the last guy. Was able to take out another helicopter with those porcupine tails, show how deadly those are. And was able to fight with George and Lizzie. Unfortunately, though, Ralph was killed by Lizzie in the end of the movie. As far as what Fenris Wolf was able to do, Fenris Wolf has a lot of feats in history. This is a wolf that went with Hela and conquered the Nine Realms. Very impressive feat. Went with Hela and Odin in to conquer the Nine Realms. Going through, I don't know how much artillery and armies. You see a little glimpse of it in an image. Fenris in the end of the movie was actually was able to take a ton of turret machine gun fire. Just takes so much machine gun fire that Valkyrie even said herself, the stupid dog won't die. I mean, I don't know how long they were firing that machine gun at Fenris Wolf, but totally shows how insanely durable Fenris Wolf is, and not just any normal gun or weapon will be able to kill this thing. And then another impressive feat was that Fenris Wolf was able to make Hulk bleed, really kick Hulk around. I mean, Hulk got some punches in himself, but she was really able to throw Hulk around like he was a ragdoll. And then was apparently killed when Fenris Wolf was knocked off the waterfall. So if that's not confirmed, we don't know if Fenris Wolf died. I've made a video that I think Fenris is still alive. This is an insanely close matchup and an awesome matchup. These are obviously two giant wolves, but breaking this down, Ralph does have the speed and agility, and the main reason for this is, is that Ralph is able to fly. It gives him a very big advantage in the speed and agility aspect, and I just think Ralph is able to run faster and jump higher. But Feats has to go to Fenris Wolf. Fenris Wolf went with Hela, like I said, to conquer the Nine Realms. It doesn't get more impressive than that. And then taking that machine gun fire for so long, and being able to hit around Hulk and make Hulk bleed is definitely worth mentioning, and that definitely gives Fenris Wolf the Feats. As far as weapons go... It's got to go to Ralph, because Ralph has that porcupine tail, while Fenris Wolf really doesn't have any weapons herself. Ralph has that porcupine tail, which I think would be deadly, but at the end of the day, that's the weapons Ralph comes into battle with, while Fenris Wolf doesn't exactly have a weapon herself other than her teeth, which Ralph has. So that would give the edge to Ralph in this battle. And as far as durability, this is a tough one, because both of them are insanely durable. They've both taken machine gun fire. But I'd have to say that durability would have to edge out to Fenris Wolf in this battle. And it's because not only did Fenris Wolf take a lot more machine gun fire, take machine gun fire for maybe 10 minutes in that battle with a big turret machine gun just straight on her. But I think that because Fenris Wolf was able to go through all those armies, because Hello was able to ride into battle with Fenris Wolf through all those nine realms, I'd have to give durability to Fenris Wolf in this battle even though it is very close, very close with the durability, just slightly edge it out to Fenris Wolf. And the last item I have is intelligence, and I, I only brought up this category because they were tied so far. But I guess I would have to edge out intelligence to Ralph 
just a little bit because he did get the serum and he was able to sneak up on those soldiers insanely fast. That shows insane intelligence that I'd have to just edge out intelligence to Ralph a little bit. But Fenris Wolf is definitely not too far down on that intelligence scale. As far as who I think would win in this battle, obviously, like I just mentioned, they're kind of tied. I edge out intelligence to Ralph a little bit, so that may give Ralph the edge. But at the end of the day, these are two giant wolves, insanely tough. Both have taken machine gun fire and are just both insanely crazy, scary creatures. This would be a very tough battle. They both have sharp, dangerous teeth that we've seen used, even though Fenris Wolf was able to make Hulk bleed. You see Ralph just tearing through people. Ralph did get his head bit off, but Fenris Wolf also got punched off the waterfall. Obviously, Ralph has the speed and agility, being able to fly through the air, which I do think would be a very big factor. Being able to fly around Fenris Wolf gives him an advantage in the speed and agility. Fenris Wolf does have the feats, taking down the Nine Realms with Hela. Ralph does have the Porcupine Hail, which is the weapons that I do think would be very effective and could do some major damage if thrown at Fenris Wolf. Maybe gets Fenris in the eye. That would be very tough. I think Fenris Wolf would be able to take it, but I don't know. I really think that could do some damage. I think that Ralph is a very deadly, quick monster that has the deadly teeth, just like Fenris, but has that porcupine tail. And Fenris Wolf would not be easy to take down. This is why this matchup is so insane. I think because Ralph has that long distance weapon, he'd be able to use the porcupine tail to maybe spike Fenris. I don't know if it would actually pierce the skin, but if he was able to get her in the eye and then come in for a bite, and maybe really, that would really shake up the battle a lot. Fenris Wolf is insanely tough, really quick, and a giant deadly wolf with his teeth making Hulk bleed, and has done a lot. But as far as on her own, Hela obviously helped her take down the Nine Realms. They were working together, but I think in this individual fight, because of that long distance weapon of the porcupine tail, those deadly teeth, I edge out the intelligence, the speed and agility with the flying, because they're right around the same size, I do think Ralph would get this win in the end. It'd be insanely close. They're both giant wolves, so it'd be an awesome fight. I would love to see this, but I have to edge out the win slightly to Ralph. Ralph would win this fight in the end. But make sure you let me know down below who you think will win in this matchup, and which matchup I should do next. I'm getting into the Christmas series. Going to be doing some Christmas reviews that were already recommended, and then doing some Christmas theme versus videos coming up. But make sure you let me know down below who you think will win, and thanks for watching.